Folks, super nice to have you here again. This is my second video for people who enjoy creative coding. Um, uh, my name is Tim Rodenbrücker. I'm a German creative. And today I want to introduce you to my opinions and my, well, to my, my ideas about technologies, right? So there are many, many possibilities to, um, well, dive into creative coding. Two of them come from the Processing Foundation uh, and they are called Processing and P5.js. So I was really trying to find a good answer for the question which technology I shall focus on in my tutorial videos and also in my next projects. And um, because I don't like to always switch the tech stack, right? When you just work with processing, things are a little bit different than in P5.js and JavaScript. So um, I was just thinking about which technology to focus on and I found an answer for my question, right? I found an answer for myself uh, and I want to share it with you. So um, maybe just a little bit of background. Well, I'm a person who started creating things with processing. Processing, pro <laughs> processing is a development environment here for uh, built with Java. And it is an application. You can download it from the processing.org website. And it is basically a text editor, which has a beautiful run button. And when you write your code in here, uh, which can be, well, there's a reference. I think most of you know what processing is, but just want to explain it a little bit. Um, and when you hit this run button, the sketch is starting immediately, right? So this is a 10 liner just describing that there should be a circle on this um, sketch window and it should move with the mouse movement here, right? So a very simple sketch, um, 10 lines of code. There was no setup um, basically needed to, to run this application, right? I didn't need to build any boilerplates or program any um, own environments. I didn't have to use a special IDE for that. And I didn't, I, I don't have a build process set up. Everything is just inside this programming uh, processing application. And that's really cool, right? I would recommend beginners to start with processing because processing forces you to think a little bit more about the syntax, a little bit more about, um, about the uh, variable types also. And um, well, I think it's a very good starting point to understand how programming basically works. So, but you know, this is now the sketch and we've got this beautiful ellipse on the, on the screen, but there is a problem here. There's a big problem because, you know, the sketch is trapped in this frame, right? The sketch is just trapped in this, in this sketch window. I can't send that sketch to someone and tell him or her to use it on his or her iPhone or tablet or desktop computer because it is just, it has to be run through the processing applications where there are a few workarounds how you can build your application from a processing um, sketch, but then it's a real application like a software and somebody has to, well, it's, it's quite huge. It has lots of megabytes and that's not a beautiful way to share interactive experiences. Well, there is something that's called P5.js that has been developed by Lauren McCarthy and a few GitHub um, and the GitHub open source community. Um, it's a really nice technology. And by the way, this sketch has been used is, or is, is built with P5.js. That means we've got a very performative environment here running in the web browser. That's really something awesome. We've got this web editor now live, um, editor.p5.js.org. Um, it works pretty good, I think. Um, you just can write your processing code in, in here. Of course, you have to well rewrite a few functions because, well, void is not void in, in JavaScript. It is function and you have to <laughs> you have to change a few few words there, but basically it's it works it works the same way as processing does. So this is heavily built on, on the processing on the ideas of processing. Mm. What is special about this is one feature about P5.js, one single feature that makes it extremely powerful, right? That makes it much more interesting for me than processing. It is the fact that it can be shared on any device, right? You can develop a P5.js sketch, a JavaScript sketch, um, 
and just share it as a website on any server and anybody can access it with his or her iPad or mobile device or desktop computer, whatever. So what you see here is exactly the sketch from my website here going on on my iPad. So this is very performant. It's running very fluid. I'm absolutely stoked about that, right? You know, we've got this 3D system here. This is a three-dimensional space. In the background, there's a CSS background image. We've got lights, we've got, we've got thousands of objects, and it's still running extremely performant, which is, wow, which is mind-blowing. Um, so P5.js enables us to write interactive experiences for any device, and that is the re revolutionary thing about P5.js. Um, well, what we see here is just an experience, right? What we see here is just a user experience. You've got this 3D space. It looks nice. Things are floating through the space, and algorithmic, algorithmic-shaped, um, uh, well, composition is formed by 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 some math formulas and stuff. That's quite cool, but it's not really useful, right? It's just beautiful. It's a nice, beautiful 3D world. Um, the cool thing about P5.js, and not just about P5.js, the cool thing about the web technologies is that they enable us to not just build experiences, they enable all, us also to build tools, right? Real tools that companies also can use, that can be used by artists and companies and, you know, agencies, whatever. And um, yeah, I want to show you one of the tools I've just built with JavaScript. That's not exactly built with P5.js, but it sh it's absolutely possible to build exactly that application with, with P5.js. And um, I think this is very, very nice to illustrate the tendencies that that um, that P5.js and the web technologies are, um, well, showcasing at the moment. That's not the right English, <laughs> how to say it, say that right in English. But I think you know what I want to say. Okay, so, um, well, basically, it started out with a project that I've made for Toon Boutique Records, which is a Münster-based house electronic music techno dance music label and i've made a visual identity for them right i've made an identity for them um and i defined buttons well textile buttons as a key visual for this for this record label that was a pretty smart move i think because now um that's something completely unique no record label has a textile button as a key visual so it's very remarkable anybody can 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 uh, immediately see that this record is by Tomb Boutique Records, if he or she knows, uh, knows the visual system. So what I did, because, you know, the, the, um, the amount of commissions raised very fast and I was overwhelmed by, because I had to do many, many covers beside of my daily business, there, there was a lot of work. So I just was looking for a way to increase my productivity and increase the output. Um, for this project. Also, you know, it is a cultural theme, so mostly cultural clients don't have that much money to pay. Um, uh, but I just wanted to find a good solution for that problem, and that's why I just developed something called Tone Boutique Designer, which is a web-based application, an uh, application that can you can run on your web browser simply by navigating to timrodenburgerde slash projects slash Boutique Designer. And this application enables the label to create infinite variations of their record cover design system. That means they can change um, the variables here quickly, right? Any, they just can 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 change the names and the, the fonts, fonts and and you know the dimensions and the size. They can just select one of these graphics here. We've got a design tool now here, right? So you can use that tool to create cover designs uh, for, for the record label. Anybody can use it. You know, you can just download the, those, um, those record covers, save them to your desktop, and it is high resolution. That means these, um, these export images could also be used to be printed. And um, that is a very, very exciting tendency here, right? We've got here now, uh, and I just opened the cover here in Affinity Photo. And as you can see, this is sharp, this is crisp. This is a real, um, well, this is a real printable I image, right? 
So um, that is a very, very interesting tendency in, in, in creative coding. We can build tools for anybody else. We can build applications that enable people to develop design or art uh, things, to share them on Instagram or social media uh, in general. And um, that is an extremely interesting tendency. So what I want to say here is that P5.js is one of the tools that enable us to really create experiences and tools and we can share those experiences and tools to anyone in the world just quickly by uploading it to a web server and sharing the link so that's that's new right that's that's new it was possible before but you know p5.js just simplifies the whole process because we now can write simple code um, easily with all the functions we know maybe from processing and create applications that can be used by anyone. All right, that's exactly what I wanted to cover in this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Peace out, bye bye.